Welcome back to our five-day devotional on the glory of God. Yesterday we talked about God creating us for his glory and our therefore being or having the duty to live for his glory. And now we shift over to the, the bad news today. And that is Romans 3.23, where there is no distinction for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. So Paul makes the connection between sin and the glory of God. And he uses this word fall short, which, which literally is all have sinned and, and lack the glory of God. They don't have it. And I want to ask, what, in what sense do all of us sinners not have the glory of God? And I don't think it's primarily in terms of I'm not as glorious as I should be, like I'm not a God right now, I'm just kind of an ordinary human being. It, it rather connects with Romans 1.23 where it says, claiming to be wise, they became fools and exchanged the glory of God for images images of mortal man, like the one we see in the mirror. That's where it gets home to me. So I think 3.23 of Romans is explained by 1.23 and that the essential explanation is we were made to love the glory of God, be satisfied with the glory of God, reflect the glory of God, and we looked at it and we said, I think I like what's in the mirror more than I like God. So I'm going to devote all my time to improving myself and living for myself. That's the essence of sin. So understanding the glory of God as the goal of creation reveals to us the, the seriousness of our sin. In fact, if you keep reading in Romans, you get to chapter 6, the wages of sin is death, and that's eternal death. So let me leave you today with the bad news. I know this is not great. We don't like to go off to work. At, do our business during the day with bad news, but I think you, you can hear the way out of this because God's going to break in tomorrow. But right now, let's just ponder the various ways in which we have exchanged. We've contemplated the glory of God, whether to live for that, whether to love that, and then we've looked at other things and we've said, no, I think I prefer other things to the glory of God. That's the essence of sin, and that's why we and the world are in as much trouble as we are.